I'm sitting in the Integra right now, about to install this new shift knob. Currently we have the Skunk 2 blue shift knob. I actually prefer this shift knob, this feeling. It's actually a pretty good size if you guys are interested in a, or a pretty good affordable shift knob. But right here, we have this Group M shift knob. I honestly think this thing is hella small, but Andrew likes this shit. So let's install this. Jacob has a lot of experience twisting knobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a new one it pretty much looks like a regular nsx type s shift knob pretty much a really small version though this thing is like my hands are pretty big but look at this like it's like you're wrapping around your own hand i i personally really don't like this shift knob but apparently the shift knob is really rare the shift knob also affects the throws too so honestly, it's shorter, but holding it does not feel comfortable, man. Like maybe it's for guys with tiny hands, tiny hands, tiny dick. So we're gonna be sea foaming this car because we feel like the car pretty much emits a lot of black smoke and uh, we need to clear the whole car up from that carbon buildup. So let me just show you how dirty this car is from the rear because there's just a lot of black particles and we're just trying to see what we can do to fix it. So let me show you guys real quick. I mean, it is a white car, but all this stuff right here. And we did a lot to uh, try and fix it, but I don't know. Not normal. There's a lot of black stuff. We're gonna be sea foaming the car today. And I don't know, see what else we can do today. We're about to make the uh the air quality go from the 200 index to the purple region again. Just as soon as the air is getting better, it's gonna go bad again because of us. Actually, I already know the outcome, but it's gonna smoke like crazy. Hey, who wants to see some uh, mini bike action? You, you guys want us to get Brandon Lee on this shit right here? Fucking just put Brandon on there. If you guys remembered, I broke this shit. So get, they give you this attachment, so I just kind of shorten it a little bit, but you're supposed to basically just jam it into the throttle body like this. I'll be in the car waiting for your command. Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right. Uh, I guess I need to hold the RPMs at two grand. Ready? Huh? Uh. uh all right. Go. Are you spraying? Are you spraying? Yeah. It's just hard to keep the idle in control. Damn, it's not smoking, man. There's nothing. Oh shit, this is where it's starting to fucking act weird. This damn motherfucker keeps fucking falling out, bruh. There's no smoke yet. Oh shit! It's smoking. Holy crap! <laughs> Look at this! No way! Dude, the smoke is flat! Well, that's how you see from your car. Dude, look at that. Look at all that in the fucking back. The straw fell in, bro. The straw fell in there? No, into the engine. Aye. Aye. Your neighbor's about there's, to be mad. There's a Jiggles idea. No, it wasn't. Yeah, my whip hop off him. 420. I'm just going to be chaining out the clock. You know, who even looks at the clock nowadays, man? It's all about the sundial. How do you take this thing out? Uh oh. Fucking I'm stupid. All right. You see this? This right here? Jump. Right here? Woo! Positivity, man! What do you think? It looks nice? <laughs> Actually, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Should I put the clock back in? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't I didn't think this was gonna be the 
way to look. Gotta rock it for a little while now. All right, we'll rock it for a little bit while. The reason why we're uh, stopping the sea foam is because you have to let the car sit for about 10 minutes. While we're waiting for 10 minutes, we're gonna show you guys some stuff that we got. I remember, Jacob, when you had a prelude, we did this, you remember? I'll see the car. Dude, just look at the white difference, man. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna change this out, because I no longer like this old one. Dude, look at this power rate, man. You want all that carbon buildup to get released, so. A lot of seafoam videos, they don't show you that you have to actually drive the car. Like, you kind of have to redline it, so. It says right here, apply spirited acceleration. I think that means pop some VTAX. <laughs> and there goes our ozone layer. Nobody happy with you. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> How to properly see from your car. Hey, don't even want us to be near us. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, what time is it though? Uh, Integra O'Clock. <laughs> was not having it. He was like, I'm gonna take another route. I wanted to roll up the window, man. Bro, I'm pulling a Coda. Oh yeah! <laughs> the only Coda fucking res that shit. I think we've done enough spirited driving, man. Oh shit, there's a popo right there. Oops. Uh-oh. Mm. They on us. It must be the B-series CRV in front of us doing all that. Ah. Oh. Ah. oh. Very nice. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, we just wanted to do a quick checkup. Hey. Look at the Berlin Ooh. black. 547. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. 547. Yeah. All that. Okay, you do. Put that later. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Now that we see it all in one color, it look way better. Yeah. Wow. Hey, don't mind, don't mind this right here. Don't mind that. It's gonna be covered with a badge. This thing's gonna be a deep cleaning. Yup. Look at that shit, man. Take a picture. Gotta be over, man. This was the side that I fucked up when we did the DIY. Now look at this. It is looking nice. I also got the jams painted too. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. There's your little weekly update. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Uh, this one's better though. Nah. <laughs> Look at my exhaust. It's don't more dark. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> hey everybody, the guy looks retarded. <laughs> it looks like a phone. <laughs> 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 Benny, did you do yours? A bit. Uh, a bit. <laughs> okay. A bit is like few sentences. Wait, is there still color? Yeah. There's still color? On the sides? Yeah. Or is it all black? No. no. There's still color. Like no way. Oh my god. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah, that shit hurts. Something a little different. You know what I'm saying? Can't be rocking the same cut all the time. After doing the seafoam guys yesterday, we need to do an oil change on the car because the seafoam actually kind of thins out the oil. And this car is just time for an oil change. I'm gonna be running Valvoline 10W40 from now on. I tried out 5W30, 10W30, and I'm still burning oil. About like a quart every thousand miles or so, but the car isn't smoking like crazy, so I have no idea what's going on. But I heard from the forums that if you run 10W40 in California, it's okay because it never gets too cold out here, so. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm gonna warm up the car every time before I do a pull, which I already been doing. So hopefully this will decrease the amount of oil that we've been consuming. 
So Andrew's putting in the new oil. Smell like freaking durian. Yeah, that's weird. The oil actually smells like straight up durian from like Chinatown. This is how much oil Andrew had left in his car. Like typically the oil pretty much fills up to like up here on like all of our other cars. But dude, this is like barely even like filling up. Like we burned off a lot of oil in this thing. Andrew abused the shit out of it. Or the motor just burns hella oil. So we just dumped this back into this because this is five quarts right here. Take a look at that. That's like, that's like two and a quarter of quarts of oil in there. That's insane. And I guess what, I just did the oil change maybe in the beginning of August. Holy. All right, Brandon's gotta go see you, man. Wait, what's happening? Ah, yeah. That's the technique to get into the Odyssey. I guess uh, I'm gonna go home real quick and shower. And I think we're gonna go hang out later tonight. We'll see what happens. Ooh. Guys, look at this spaghetti. Ooh. Okay, it looks all right, okay? It looks all right, but when you try it, it tastes pretty good. Okay, so whenever you go to Jollibee, even if you're not the type to eat spicy food, get the spicy i'm telling you original is not the move i can't eat original like you gotta get the spicy you already know pineapple juice hey real ones know why you drink pineapple juice all right guys so that's it for today's video but thank you guys so much for watching actually wait we don't do outros anymore remember